What secret are you hiding from your family? This might sound like a humble brag but I don't care. I have more money than my family thinks. I'm usually very open with money and how much I make, etc. But if I tell them, I'd get constant barrage from my oldest brother to send my mom $2,000 a month, while he and his wife sit in his million dollar home, earning a combined income of just under 500k, refusing to help my mom out. Yes, I help my mom. She kind of knows what I have, but never asks for it unless it's an emergency. Even she agrees I shouldn't tell them. My family would always say that I'm a loser and I'll never achieve anything. Now I'm graduating philosophy, which won't give me any job, and having discovered my extraordinary physical abilities, I decided that I want to be useful for the world and become a soldier. Unfortunately, my country's army doesn't want me because of my former poor eyesight, so I found the infamous French Foreign Legion, saved the money waiting tables during weekends and got my eyes operated. The first contract lasts 5 years and officially I won't be able to cross the French borders. Depending on which regiment I finish in, I'll be able to take part in Max 2. If I'm really lucky 3 missions in Mali, Afghanistan, Djibouti or French Guiana. I got a friend who serves the Legion. He says that with my stamina, life experiences and motivation, the selection process will be like a piece of cake for me. Anyway, wish me luck, cause I'll need it. DLDR, I'm fed up with my life so I'm joining the most legendary, and shitty, army in the world and they don't know a thing. I hate most of them and I'm just waiting for the day I can leave them behind. Also I think I have pretty severe generalized anxiety and really want to see a therapist. That I never went to take the books on loan from the school and I did all year without. They will kill me. That I'm applying to music school. I have Asian parents who want me to be a doctor. Business is going down. It's 5 years thrown away in 2 lockdown months. I don't know how I will bring this up to them. I have mild depression and extremely severe anxiety. NSFL warning. So my ex stepdad was incredibly abusive and every night up stay up till like 4am because whenever I sleep I have horrible nightmares and whenever I feel stressed or tired I feel his knuckles pushing into my eyes. NSFW warning. A couple years ago I stuck a banana up my area for experimentation and I put it back with the rest after giving it a quick rinse. I saw my mom and brother eating bananas later and I don't know which ones had my juices. I've been thinking a lot about my sexuality lately. Because of a skin disease, that I carry a lot of shame about. I wasn't able to explore my sexuality in my 20s and kind of just shut myself down. But the more I work on opening myself up to dating and sex again, the more I realize that I would like to explore being with a woman. I find myself more attracted to women than to men, but I guess I just never let myself go there. I don't want to say anything until I've actually had experience with another woman, because if it happens and it turns out that it isn't for me, I don't want to come back to my family and say just kidding, I'm not bisexual after all. I have several things that I hide. For starters, I'm gender fluid. My parents know I'm gay, but they don't know that I'm gender fluid, and I'm slowly turning trans, I'm born female. My parents accept the fact that I'm gay, but they told me they don't like it. They also don't know how bad my depression is. They found out through my friend, who I don't talk to very much, called the police after I said I felt like harming myself. I was sent to a hospital which made it even worse and made my anxiety much worse when going into a hospital or being around cops. Along with that, I never really trust anyone anymore. I only have a few friends who I openly vent to when I really need to. I don't trust any adults nor any children. As a teenager, I need a social life, but I can't talk to anyone for a fear of what will happen. The last thing I'll share is my ex and how she mentally abused me, very toxic relationship. She threatened me daily if I didn't buy her something, didn't do something for her, wasn't online when she wanted me to, and when I broke up with her she countlessly contacted me through any platform she could to try and get back with me. Out of fear of harming herself, I keep in contact with her on Discord. I was using prescription pain meds for years. I joke about it because of the history of drug abuse in my family, but my parents have had this vision of me as this great daughter whose only flaw is smoking weed, but that's normal for my family. My family assumes I lost 20 pounds in a month due to portion control and that my mood swings were from relationship troubles with my BF. I've almost died due to consuming multiple pills, some of which I didn't even know what they were, and I've actually taken my family's prescriptions to either sell or take. I don't feel good about my actions but I have gotten better and no longer abuse. That I think the bulk of what's decent about me came from the internet and my friends. They're well-meaning enough people, but not the most stable. Decency is a skill, and all. Incidentally I've been letting my dad, who's happy I have friends now, plural, even, continue believing that the version of me that he raised would have been capable of that. I'm bi. I live in a pretty religious family and my sister who's nine already knows and she hates it. I think my dad and stepmom may already know but. Oh also that I've dated and fucked a girl before. I am still a teen. My mom doesn't know I'm dating a girl with a child, she's in social housing through necessity. I feel like if I tell her then she will instantly make inaccurate assumptions and think I can do better. Love is love and I'm really happy that it was me who killed the cat, 
by accident, I was 11 years old, I was trying to take a shower with the cat and play with her and make her swim but I didn't let her out of the water, she drowned, after that I put the cat in front of the toilet and I didn't do anything, as if I didn't do anything, and they didn't even ask me what happened. They don't exactly know what my actual personality is like. They think I'm really thoughtful and kind and actually, I'm quite a jerk with people when I want to be. They just have never seen it. That I accidentally got a girlfriend online and I don't even think I'm lesbian. One of my best friends is 20 and I'm just barely 13. I have a problem with my mom for a few reasons. I drink my dad's ribbits when I'm going somewhere where I need to be awake, and I stay up until around 4. I hate my parents and I'd want nothing more than to move out and be on my own. It feels like I don't even have parents anymore, they're so negligent and narcissistic that every problem that I have is turned around and they make it about them. For example I asked my mom that I was getting concerned about my mental health and I'd like to see a doctor to see if I can get on an antidepressant, and she just went on about her beliefs and how she feels about it, completely ignoring me. My boyfriend wanted to give me his antidepressants but that's obviously not safe so I have to wait until I'm 18, in 4 months, to finally start taking care of myself the way my mom should have. My dad used to be a parolee officer in a small county in Utah. He abused his power by bribing his parolees with sex. Men, women, didn't matter. The county knew and wanted to fire his ass but they didn't want the backlash from it. They eventually found out he was chatting on sex websites at work and also with one of his co-workers ex-wives. So they fired him for that and he had to go to court for it. They never brought up the sex and the bribes. My whole family thought they should have given my dad a second chance and that he just messed up. Well he was fired and never worked in that line of work again, no one in the family other than my mom knows what he was doing there. My family defends my dad left and right and thinks he is such a good man. Telling them would be pointless because it's my word versus his. So what's the point? This is a throwaway account but kinda wanted to get this off my chest. All of my family and friends know that I have never had a boyfriend but that is not true. I'm currently 17 and I had, hold on this is true, a 19 year old boyfriend when I was 15. Now before going Chris Hansen. Please understand that it was not a predatory or creepy relationship at all. I was the one who texted him and said I liked him. It was an online dating situation and we dated for 2 months, and I have not spoken to this person in over 2 years now. So no, I wasn't groomed, I was not molested but just a stupid teen thing. I made an attempt to meet with my girlfriend without our parents finding out. Covid isn't strong here so I thought it wouldn't matter, she said no though so I never did it. Can't let my parents know I even planned it though. My father used to cheat on my mom, 